So, does anybody else remember the time that Hollywood Pictures advertised a killer croc movie like it was some serial killer thriller, but really didn't have a whole lot of crocodile in it and felt more like it was trying to be a political drama? That basically sums up Prime Evil. He's coming. Prime Evil. Inspired by a true story. It's like they were embarrassed it was an animal attack movie. Even the poster looks like Seven or some shit. You'd never really guess from the trailer, but this movie is actually based on a real crocodile called Gustav that has become a bit of a legend in Africa. He's claimed to be like over 20 feet long, weighing over a ton, and has supposedly racked up a body count of like 300 people. To this day, we don't even definitively know if he's still alive or not. Supposedly he was killed in 2019, but there was never any evidence to support that. And now. With a real life story about an absolute fucking unit of a crocodile like that, was Primeval really the best they could do? So essentially, a reporter played by Dominic Parcell, who just totally looks like the reporter type, is sent to Africa with his cameraman played by Orlando Jones, who I swear to God plays the same character in every movie he's in. I mean, just try to convince me that this character is any different than the one that he played in Evolution. Hey, by the way, you think Ron just tapping that ass? She got a nice ass. He has the tapping apparatus. I think he is. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to be a little bit excited about this. We're going to Africa. Bugambi, Bugambi, Bugambi. Hey! Bugambi, Bugambi, Bugambi. Hey! Their mission? Capture Gustav, because we've got to have money. Along the way, they team up with Brooke Langton and a herpetologist played by Gideon Emery, who, uh, fun fact, is a prominent voice actor in video games, including Baltair in Final Fantasy XII and Devrim K for my fellow Destiny 2 players with an unhealthy addiction. Like, no joke, one of the reasons why it's been taking me so long to get content out is because Lightfall just recently dropped and I've just been, uh, it's like crack, dude. I just, I can't stop. I can't stop. Now, if Lake Placid taught us anything, it's that with decent writing, you can make an extremely entertaining movie out of a killer crocodile premise when you embrace the fact that you're making a movie about a killer crocodile. Prime Evil doesn't do that. It's too focused on being up its own ass with trying to come across like Hotel Rwanda or Blood Diamond, so what you end up with is a movie that's a B-movie, but doesn't want to act like it's a B-movie, where the entire marketing campaign of Gustav being this ungodly killing machine kind of gets tossed out the window, because people kill people in this movie more than he does. Now there are like some decent moments in this when Gustav does show up, like this part where a dude just decides to go into the cage that they're using while the croc throws it around. I don't know why he went in there in the first place, it was a total gigabrain move on his part. Or the scene where Orlando Jones' character gets chased by Gustav through a field, which is honestly probably the highlight of the entire movie. It looks jank as hell though. It's not just the crappy CGI either, there's something off about the way Gustav moves. Like he's skipping frames or something, he's moving too quick. When it comes to scale and film, the bigger something is, the slower it should appear to move to us. And I know someone in the comments is going to be like, well, um, actually, yeah, I know Crocs can haul ass when they want to. I know that, but not like this. We'll have to ask for his blessing. We want the villagers to help us. Tonight the feast is for gratitude. Good luck. This is delicious. What is this? My, my, my. This fruit paste is delicious. Nyama ni nyama do. In Swahili, it means all meat is meat. <laughs> Yummy. Just like when it comes to shark movies and zombie movies, we're spoiled for choice. There's just so many goddamn killer crocodile and alligator movies out there that you need to do something to make yours stand out if you're gonna do one. And when you're the one croc movie out there basing your premise on a real life story with so much potential, you need to do better. This could have easily been like the Jaws of Crocodile movies, but it looks like they gave up on that dream pretty early into the development process of this when they decided it would be a brilliant idea to hire the screenwriting duo that brought us Catwoman. I mean, that should tell you how much they tried here. I want to give a quick shout out to the Patreon supporter, sponsor, whatever you want to call them, of this video, The Wolfman. He was the one who suggested uh, I review Primeval. This movie was a hell of a hard one to track down for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I apologize for there being such a huge gap in movies. I made, I know I made a joke about it being Destiny. It's not really, it wasn't because of Destiny. There was like, I just haven't had the motivation to do things lately, but I think that's going to change. If you want to support the Patreon and you have a specific movie that you want me to cover, you can go ahead and do so at the Patreon. One of the tiers, you get to select a movie you want me to cover for every month that you're subscribed to that tier. I'll make it a priority and I'll cover it. I appreciate the continued support. I appreciate you guys continuing to watch the videos, even though I haven't been around as much lately. I promise you that's going to change. I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be Sector 7.